So today, we're going to use visioning for our 2022 success. My name is Andrea Callanan. I am an international voice, mindset, and business coach. I'm also a certified positive psychology coach, a best-selling author. I'm on the Forbes Coaches Council, and I'm an international speaker. So as a business coach, I talk a lot with women who want to set their goals in their business and they're looking at what they want to create and they have some idea of their vision, but the universe loves specificity, loves it. And what we often don't do with our vision is we'll just think about somewhere in the distant future and we'll think about what we want to create and wouldn't it be nice? And the thing is that type of visioning for me is lovely as a starter, but it kind of feels a bit like a pipe dream. It kind of feels like something that may or may not happen, you know, I'm talking about the visioning where you're going to implement and you're going to create the vision that you desire and it's going to become your reality and talking about doing it quickly because the universe loves speed and the universe loves specificity. So let's dive in. I am somebody who works with the law of attraction, one of those immutable metaphysical laws. I definitely work with it. I started working with it around 15 years ago. My life has changed unrecognizably since I started employing and working with the law of attraction and one of the main ways in which I started doing this even was just simply by creating vision boards. Really simple and we're talking about Blue Peter style cut and paste, cutting things out, sticking them on a board. These days I do it digitally and I sometimes I will do it physically as well but this is the thing, you write down a goal or a vision and you're 20% more likely for it to happen. You create the vision so you can see it either in film form or pictorial form or on a vision board or something, you create the vision and you are something like 84% more likely to achieve it. And what's interesting about that is because our brains are really amazing. So what we can see, we can be. All of those cliches that you hear, the reason they're a cliche is because they're true. If you can hold it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand and all of these things. So how, how do you do it? So many people say to me, I, I don't get it and, you know, people talk about manifesting as all too woo woo. How do we actually get there? Well, look, let me tell you in a way that I teach my mindset and business clients, some of whom have never heard of the law of attraction, some of whom simply want to make more money. That's all they want. They just want to make more money. They want to be happier. They want to have more success. So let's just break it down to brass tacks. The first thing about visioning is you've got to get clear. You have to get specific. So there's no point in saying, I want to be happy. That's great. That's a feeling that you want to emanate and that's somewhere where you want to be. But actually, we want to be really specific. So my happy place is on the island of Ibiza, preferably in summer, preferably in a place of my own that is near the sea. I want to be able to see the sea. I want to be able to have an outside space where I can eat and drink and I can have an outside lifestyle. I want to be able to taste and smell the sea because I'm so close to it. I want to be able to hear the waves crashing when I get into bed at night. I'm getting specific about the vision that I'm holding in my head. And so you need to do the same thing. So let's, let's flip it to business. It's always really easy to do for things like holiday homes and things like that because you've been somewhere that you resonate with, right? Let's talk about business. One of my visions is to have space. So I talk about space a lot. Space in my bank account, space in my jeans, space in my diary. I want to have space. You've got to paint the picture. So let go, you've got to get really specific. So the first thing is, what do you want? And the second thing then is working out why you want it. You have to get emotionally attached to why you want something. So work out why. Why do I love that place so much that I painted for you? Well, because I feel completely different when I'm there. I feel more relaxed. I feel happier in the sun, I get more vitamin D. I have got a laptop lifestyle, which means that I can work anywhere I want to in the world. Think about why you want to create what you want to create, because the emotion behind that will propel you forward. The next thing you need to do when you're visioning is you need to get connected to the feeling of it. And this is the bit that everybody misses out, especially when we're looking at something like manifesting. So people will go through the motions and they'll write their plan and they might even create a little, a little tiny video you know, what they want to create, you know, with pictures in it, or they might create a vision board, but they don't get connected to the feeling of it, which means they're not on the frequency of it. You have to get connected to the feeling of what it is you're creating. So if I want to create spaciousness, I've got to work out what that spaciousness feels like, and I've got to get connected to it, and I've got to make sure that I am doing stuff on the daily, activities on the daily, that help me conjure up that feeling, and then I need to sit with that feeling. It's like cultivating and nourishing and nurturing what you want to create. Because the law of attraction works with 
a frequency. And I know this sounds, for some of you who might be new to the law of attraction, this is a really easy way to maybe talk about it. Like attracts like. We, are, we all have a frequency. Every single living organism has a frequency. And so metaphysically, so we're talking about physics, it's a scientific fact. If I am happier, then I'm likely to attract more happiness. If I'm kind, I'm likely to attract more kindness. If I'm cross, I'm likely to attract more anger. If I'm sad, I'm likely to attract more sadness. If I am happy and successful and excited and I've got all of those high frequency feelings, I'm likely to attract more of that. So if what I want to attract is calm and freedom and happiness and spaciousness, if I want to attract that, I have to cultivate that in my every day. And the reason why I'm doing it is because I'm connected to the emotion of what I want to create and why I want to create it. And if I do that, it's going to happen quicker. And by the way, if your big vision is a big, big, big vision, and it might take a bit longer to bring into fruition, what you'll find is by cultivating those feelings every day, you're still going to feel like a winner. So it's an absolute game changer and a win-win for you to get really clear on that vision, get connected to it emotionally, make sure you make a physical representation of it, and then step by step, you reverse engineer and you move towards it. And it has to be step by step, and that's a whole other video because that's all about strategy. And I can tell you about how we can reverse engineer what your end goal is, and we just take the baby steps back. We break it down from boulders to rocks, to, you know, to stones and to the granular that you need to be doing. So I hope that this has been really useful and maybe this has debunked some of the noise that you might hear around manifesting or around visioning and about how to vision for your success in 2022. Get clear, get connected and make sure you get visual about it. And let's see what happens. Let me know in the comments what you think on social media. Come and DM me. Let's have a conversation about it and I'll see you next time.